Hey guys, Divine Rylo here, you can just call me Rylo, and it has been a hell of a year, hasn't it? Um, I started off this year by getting dumped. I lost my father halfway through the year. But I am now here for my big and happy birthday video. Uh, so, I said I was going to be doing something special for this video, I meant it. This is my favorite game, came out the same year that I was born, and I love it. Um, so, without further ado, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. This, Resident Evil 2, great game, love this game. So, we are going to be playing this today, and uh, I am going to love this. I am going to be playing as Claire. I'm gonna be playing on normal. Because I'm no puss. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb. Yep. <laughs> that did happen. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus. Mm. A mutagenic toxin created by the International Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Mm. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Uh, beautiful heroine Claire. Welcome to Raccoon City. That sign is very different from, uh, the remake. This was actually the first horror game I ever played. And I've loved it ever since. I'm finally here. Hmm. Maybe because you taste nice. I mean, think of the positive. Come on. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I did not expect to see this when I came to town. Oh shit. Wait, don't shoot. Get down. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! <laughs> Random police car that Leon doesn't even own. <laughs> okay. It's just randomly unlocked. Makes sense. What's going on? I arrived in town and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Yes, Chris, member of stars. Oh, shit. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. You better take it with you. Hmm. Better take it with. Oh, shit. Why does he have the same freaking hairstyle as Leon? Okay. 
still in one piece. <laughs> oh shit. you there okay man when games didn't have to swear <laughs> they were parted by an unescapable destiny this is just the beginning of their worst nightmare man looks like I'm a bit of a Expert doesn't. Ah, ah! I always get bitten by that one. I always can't find a way to dodge that guy, which is annoying. Freeze. Oh, hello, it's Mr. Kendo. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human. Ooh. Jeez. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. Hmm. Never be too careful. On in this town. Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Hmm. Likely story. You might get a bit of lag. Well, I might get a bit of lag while playing this because this is via an emulator. Wait, no, I don't want to go towards them. Hell no! I always need to have auto aim on. Because I do not like having it off. Because it fucks me over. These guys just keep getting up. Yeah, I thought you were still alive, you fucking wanker. Yeah, I don't want to waste any more ammo on those guys, Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Whew. Don't want to waste too much ammo because I don't have to come back to this area during the game at all. You can just run past those guys. You don't have to freak out or anything or shoot at them. You can just run past because it takes them a while to get back up. I remember rightly the first one that comes. Yep. <sighs> now I've got some uh, cops to contend with out here. Damn! Now that's how you get past them without any, uh, any damage. <laughs> and without firing a single shot. Well, we're at the RPD. That's good. We got some ink ribbons. Ah, oh, Marv! Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Ah, Chris wow. That's great. Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have I noticed during cutscenes, the FPS goes all the way what down happened? to 25. <laughs> About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city chris and the other stars members discovered that umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives but no one 
believed them. Yeah, well, it's a kind of crazy story. I don't think anyone really would without proof. Just rescue the survivors in the other room. Ah, Jojo. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. Just go. Whoa, no need to put a gun to my head. Just hang Jesus. I'll be back soon. And doors unlocked, and so's that one. Now time to save. Please, um, what? Memorandum. 8th of the 20th, oh, the 23rd of the 8th, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock can be, has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236 uh, two, two, is the code. Yep, I remember that. Off by heart. I remember that in this desk, there is a first aid spray. Um, I think that's everything in this room, so. Huh. A liquor. Isn't that nice and lovely? I do love a good liquor. Dead. Oh, wait, there we go. Ah, you have to do it there. Ah, okay. I was wondering why. <gasps> well, this is great. Well, I'm not touching that. I just think I'm going to move on with my life. Operation Report. Operation Report. September 26th. The Raccoon City Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of this of the operation are as follows. Security of the of armaments and ammunition ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, uh, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent any possible se prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the keycard used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorded, David Ford. Operation Report, September 27th, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room 
On the first floor, temporarily, 12 more people were injured in the battle, recorded David Ford. Additional report. There, three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant, their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so I can't do this because I don't have a lighter. So let's just continue on our journey. Fucking bitch. This one really dead because it's still twitching. That's all of the ones in this room down, done then. Uh, let's get these guys. Remember that, yep, being some hanging ammo right there. And there's also a report here. Operation Report 2. September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a patch leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy some more time, we lo locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Yep, it is here on all, all versions then, I guess. Man, it really helps when you know the uh, locations of the hidden handgun bullets. Grenade launcher! Oh, well, I'm gonna quickly do something to show you guys a secret. Three hours later. There we go. Got the film. This is secret film. Chris's diary. August 8th. I've talked to the chief today once again. But he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella is conducting T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been re receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. With the August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, I've finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation on the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? 
we talked over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Yeah, and you're not telling her to put her in danger anyway, you frickin' dick. <laughs> Ooh, a fax! Don't you just love it when you get a fax? Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We are continuing with our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. Over the last five years, he was apparently involved in the cover-up at the Mansion Lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the, the charges but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal... phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You wouldn't want someone like that as your police chief. Patrol report. September 20th, 9.30 p.m. Reporter, Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon Sea. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items, a small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an, an electronic detonator, nine times 19 parabellum rounds, infrared scope broken, end of report. Hmm. So, want to find out what the secret film is that we found in Wesker's desk? A picture of Rebecca Chambers in uh, sports gear. For some reason, that was in his dad. What a perv. <laughs> anyway, let's actually get to where we're supposed to be getting. Oh, a little girl. Help me. It's still alive. Yeah, um, I need to go help her. Okay, he's down. Good. That's all the spade keys uses. Leon! Leon! Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Yep. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Get those handgun bullets. Love me some flame rounds.
Ah, oh, guess I still do. I, I guess I still remember how to do that without even looking at it anymore. Time to go through here then. Damn, those guys took some shots. Oh, fact sake. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I le leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he, he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with, with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Yep, yeah, mine too. To be honest, that that doesn't sound like art to me. That sounds like um, that sounds like some um, very inappropriate and kinky shears. Oh, I can hear what's happening in the next room as I open the door. Isn't that lovely? Ha! <laughs> That was scary. Looks like he was about to start charging at me. I accidentally just pressed the RB button. There we go. There's the ammo I wanted. Oof. I hate this room so much. Well, that corridor. Thank God I never have to go that way on it ever again. Yeah, I find it easy to dodge past the zombies in this room. <laughs> well, out here. Ah, oh, the valve handle. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh, that was so close. But no, you will never get Claire. <laughs> Man, playing through these old Resi games again. I have gotten a lot better than I was as a kid at dodging the zombies. I used to just murder them all. <laughs> Which uh, made it so I ran out of ammo really quickly. But I also played on easy, so there was a more of an abundance of ammo. So, wasn't that terrible. Now I need to go get the other red jewel. There we go, fire lit. What the fuck? I want to go in that room. I really don't. But I have to at some point. Hmm. Sorry. There's an ink ribbon. Oh, 
We've got a new key. Diamond key. Now we've got this. A blue stone. This door. I remember there being a lot of zombies in here. <laughs> Which uh, is not good if you, you know, value your life. No! They tag teamed me, the feckers! Yeah, my handgun does not shoot fast enough. That is what I've learned. I'll take that. Get the plastic bomb. Need to destroy the wall now as a detonator. I didn't expect that to be two. I've got this film, I don't need that. Now let's go see Marvin! Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to you have forward to having you as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Hello, Marv. Ah, fuck. Get off. Stay away from me! Whew. Now I'm gonna go check the other way. The other office. Where the safe is. think he will. Oh shit, he was still alive. You better be down. I said you better be down. Hey. Oh. And a map. Do like me a good map. I'm pretty sure this dead body here has ammo on it. And there's a item box just up here, so I'm gonna quickly go to the item box and then I'll go down that corridor. Alrighty, what is behind door number one? A zombie! Yeah, I didn't think I could! Why did I get so close? It's like I'm trying to kill myself. Yep, remembered you were in there. You frickin' toss pot. You heard me. Well, 
That blew up pretty nice. Hello! You definitely seem like a nice guy. Oh. oh. I'm terribly sorry. I thought you no problem. were another one of those goblins. Are you Chief Irons? Yes. That's me. I completely you forgot you about my coffee. <laughs> bother telling me. It makes no difference. Mm. You'll end up just like all the others. Will I? I don't think I will. That's the mayor's daughter. Oh. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Yeah, no us. Look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. I must. I'd really like to be alone now. That tiger has new meaning for me since the remake because of that single note. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, I was trying to get the light switch. <laughs> Hello, Cher. Wait. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry, do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. Oh, chemical cool. Plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. That's well, not that safe here, here either. She was probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. Mm. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That was That's seriously on cue. It's here. Sherry, wait. Oh, jeez. That was really on cue. Secretary's Diary B. June 8th, as I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. Last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in dan in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Oof, Jesus. Ooh, first aid spray. That's nice. It's kept clean, unlike his tiger. <laughs> Uh, I have nightmares. Anyway, let's get uh back to the typewriter and save. Chief. Chief. What up, Chief? Oh yeah, I forget. There's a key left here, the heart key, and also a note. 
Chief's diary. September 23rd. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in the town if this turns out to be true. September 24th. I was successful in spreading the confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from the inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've, cha I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour Less than an hour ago, I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I am going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the, the pose I choose to give her. Uh, I think the chief's an alright guy. I think people just misjudge him. I mean, he seems like a very nice guy, like the nicest. Definitely wouldn't kidnap a, a woman killer and then taxidermy her. It's definitely not. Why would you even think that? So... That is all of the time I've got for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this has been my birthday special, and I uh, I love this game. It is great. Um, so I definitely hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, because it helps me out a lot. Comment if you have anything to comment as well, because that also helps me out a good bit as well. Subscribe. It helps me out. <laughs> also, click that button to stay updated with notifications, so when you know when I have a new video out. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.